What's up guys? Today we're going to be working on the E30 a little bit. Um, got Ryder with me. We just finished up some indoor rock climbing this morning, so that was kind of fun. Uh, and the sun's out and it's a little bit warmer than typical February weather. So, we are going to make the best of it. And we got the E30 out here today, rolling around in it, having fun. But it needs a couple cosmetic and a couple practical things done to it. So, seeing I haven't made a video in a while, let's do it. Oh guys, this is funny, okay? So, one of the things we're probably going to try and fix today is this shift boot. Check that out. You see that? Yeah, those are my fingers coming through. So, this is all cracked up. It may be the original one. Probably is. Um, and we're going to fix the shift knob. But, the funny thing about this shift boot is when, when it's like this position in the center here, you can hear the engine a lot more come through there. When you shift it forward, it kind of mutes it a little bit. And then bring it back. It's just funny. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Alright guys, so we are at our uh, local hardware store here and uh, we're going to be picking up, hopefully, I really hope they have it. There's little set screws. Unscrew this collar, if I even can undo it. <laughs> After rock climbing for like five <laughs> hours, man. I don't know, man. My hands are pretty torn up. Mm. So, there are, there are these little set screws in here. I'm going to pull one out in a minute. And they're too long, so I need to get some smaller set screws. Hopefully they have them in here. All right, got what we needed here. And uh, hopefully we'll make these work better for the shift knob. All right, so guys, first step, unscrew this collar here. Yes, I guess that's it, all right? Second step is remove these set screws here. I think this one is a tricky one, because of this collar. I don't even need to remove the second one. I guess it's loose enough. My problem is that the set screws are not going far enough into the shift knob. So because they're sticking out, that little silver collar can't screw on over those hex screws sticking out. But first, let's get this shift boot out here. Yep, that's interesting. Looks like there's a little retaining collar clip piece here. So too bad we don't have a trash can. Where's, where's that Honda at? Oh, my bad, that wasn't supposed to be in here. We'll just put it in that Mustang. That works, that's a pretty good trash bag. What I might actually do is just like pop the corners in first. The front ones. Alright guys, so this is what it's looking like now, all finished up. Um, got the shift knob on there, and we also got that new shift boot. And I like the way it turned out. It came out, it came out, uh, came out pretty well. So now you can actually really hear the comparison. Um, you can't hear the engine as much coming through that hole in that shift boot that was there before. So definitely a lot better. And uh, it's not going to bother me with fumes anymore because a lot of fumes were coming up through the old one. And really getting to me. So what is he doing back there? He's trying to sneak. He's sketching. So now our next issue is, I guess the previous owner used tape to keep this light in there, and it's all falling apart. Hopefully the new light I have will fit in the bumper, but it looks like there's been body work done here, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit perfectly. I guess we're gonna find out. So I've got a replacement piece. Let's just see. Let's leave these bulbs just turn and pull out. Yep, not too bad. Let's see. Oh no. Wow. That pretty much fixed it straight up. That looks good. Wow. Wait. Wow. I know that there's even a video on your channel. Or not your channel, I don't know if this no, is no, going to be No, no, it is my channel. MD Super Sport Rider. 
So you're a rider from MDC for Sport Rider? Right. So now we've got your face. That's yeah. not smart. You have my face. Not your name. Well, you know, but here's the thing. See, I do the voiceovers and I do some of the acting. Um, but your friend you know, does the writing. The other guy, he does right. He's insane. Um, I really, I don't condone the behavior. Um, but you know, actually, I have a similar situation to uh, Jogo 101, good friend of mine. Um, yeah. So let's see what's going on with this front light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably for me kicking it. You're good. <laughs> but it made it work. It did. All right. So let's see. Twist. Maybe a little bit of uh, corrosion in there. Yeah, just a little, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's just pop this new lens on. It's actually a pretty quick fix. I kind of expected this to be a little more difficult, but I think I think that pretty much solved that issue. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. We got one. See, that one isn't. I don't know why. But you just, uh, it's a little bit of magic involved. It's mostly just old German knowledge. You just gotta, you know, oh well, at least it's a lot better than what was there before, so. And now I got a mess to clean up. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I know that was a really short little video there, um, but we just were, we kind of got stuck on a couple of those things and we weren't filming as much. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff with the car goes, I am planning to do a lot of interior work coming up in the spring, so be looking out for that. Uh, possibly carpet dyeing, seat stuff, uh, and some other restoration. I'm on the fence about whether I want to vinyl wrap it, uh, or if I want to send it off to get it repainted. Chrome wrap it. Chrome wrap it? Chrome wrap. No, nah, man. On that car, though? Yeah, man. I don't know. I can't decide. If you, guys, if you guys have any ideas, yeah, just shoot them, shoot them in the comments below. I kind of like the original color, but I kind of want to make it a little deeper with a little more uh, depth in the color and, you know, just polish it up. So, uh, being the fact that I'm working and doing school pretty much full time, I uh, don't really have a lot of money left over right now and don't have too much time to uh, do any of the performance things that I want to do just yet. So as far as turbocharging and all that sort of stuff, we'll get to that kind of on the fence about what I want to do as far as that goes as well. But. Uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Time to go get wings with the guys. <laughs>